Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you're watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place that I buy all things photo and video. A common question that I get is, Corey, what do you put in your camera bag when you're shooting during the winter? Well, we're out here shooting during the winter, and I thought I would just quickly run through my baseline kit. This isn't the bag that I would pack if I'm out doing a big commercial at or advertising still photo shoot or a big video production. This is me going out into the field to have fun, to take pictures, and I'm probably going to be standing on snow. It's probably going to be cold. It starts by taking care of yourself. You've got to be comfortable if you're going to focus on being creative. So it starts by layering clothing. I'm wearing a base layer, then a fleece layer. I have a soft shell pant, and then a down jacket because I know there's no precip in the forecast. Okay, so I'm using a reverse opening backpack, meaning the surface that I put down in the snow or the mud is not what goes on my back. This is the Low Pro Flip Side Sport 20 liter pack and uh, that allows me to keep my back dry. And it's just enough space that I can get just about everything I need inside the bag. Now, some of this discussion is gonna be less about photography equipment and more about keeping yourself comfortable. I have a beanie cap, a snow a hat, really for staying warm during the winter. I always have gloves, even during the summer, actually, I have gloves in my bag. These are windproof gloves, fleece-lined fleece gloves with a rubber surface on the fingertips so I can manipulate the camera controls. I wear glasses, so I have prescription glasses and then I have prescription sunglasses, so these are always in my bag. I'm a big Oakley fan, great optics. I've got a black diamond headlamp. Um, this is my LED headlamp, lasts forever, several settings from bright to, uh, to low. These are by no means a technical crampon, they're just a little, little spikes that you can put on the bottom of your feet. Uh, even in running shoes or your snow boots that allow you to walk around on ice and not feel vulnerable. I mean, the last thing I want to do is, is slip while I'm trying to take a picture. You know, staying warm is key. I carry these just uh, heat packs. Um, usually I just buy the ones for my hands. Even if my toes are cold, I'll just shove the hand packs inside of my boots. I actually bring this little blower, uh, and, it's, and it's not just for dust. It's actually sometimes when snow gets on the lens, when it's really cold, you can actually just blow the snow right off of the front element of your lens. I always have a little multi-tool. Uh, this is just Allen wrenches, screwdrivers. It allows me to do a quick repair, put a video plate on the bottom of the camera if I need to, if I'm gonna switch into video mode, but it's just for doing quick repairs. Okay, as, as far as a, I carry a low pro card wallet, and of course I always carry significantly more memory than I actually need. And my system for, for cards is if it's flipped upright, so I'm on SanDisk Extreme Pro cards, if it's flipped upright, that means it's ready to shoot. If it's upside down, meaning I'm seeing the back of the card, that means it's shot. My new favorite camera is the Nikon D750. It's a full frame camera. And my go-to lens is actually the 16 to 35 millimeter F4 lens. It's definitely a bit of extra weight, but I'm a big fan of the Nikkor 70 to 200 f2.8 lens. And my third lens, when I'm I'm going fast and light, I need some speed, and that's the Nikkor 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. This thing is an awesome lens, so sharp, so fast. And what you'll notice, you might notice that the front of this lens looks funny. I actually have a step-up ring. Any filter that I want to put on my lenses with the step up ring allows me to use a 77 universally. So the 50, 16 to 35, or the 70 to 200. You might notice this little lens cleaning cloth here. You just pull it out. It's a Nikon lens cleaning cloth. That's just for quick maintenance if I need to uh, clean a lens. Okay, inside this pouch, I actually just have like two batteries. I mean, you could virtually shoot all day and then some on one battery. This is really redundant. So on this far side, it's really designed for a hydration pack. I'm not much of a hydration pack guy, but I'll carry a water bottle. I just want to make sure that I have the opportunity to stay hydrated. You know, I'm a pretty fair-skinned guy, so I carry a pretty big thing of sunblock. If I'm outside a lot, if I'm spending a lot of time in winter conditions, I'm not afraid to carry a big tube of sunblock so I'm never running low. Again, staying out of the sun, if I'm just going to be sitting in the snow cooking, you know, sometimes even during winter conditions, you just need to keep yourself protected from the sun. 
absolutely unequivocally, it's important to have a roll of gaff tape. You can buy these small rolls in different colors, super valuable. This goes back to the whole taking care of yourself. Uh, if you're starving, you're not focused on creativity. I'll always leave a cliff bar inside my bag. Um, I'll also, you know, I showed you kind of two different solutions for lens cleaning already. Um, but I'll also carry these lens tissues as well as a lens cleaning formula. Now, the formula, of course, is if you really have some grease and you're having a hard time getting off of the lens. But the tissues are really valuable during the winter. If you start getting rain on your lens or snow has melted on your lens, these tissues absorb some of the water as opposed to just a cleaning cloth moves it around. And so these are pretty valuable if you're having issues with, uh, with you know, a wet lens. I hope what you take from this episode is that going out during the winter can be a heck of a lot of fun if you pack your bag correctly. Most importantly, take care of yourself, stay warm, and that allows you to be creative. Have fun in the process. I'll see you out there. I'm Corey Rich. You're watching Adorama TV. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contests. You can win all kinds of cool stuff. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.